Uh, the, the other game I really like tonight, I like Oregon getting eight and a you half. You love the Ducks so I much. I do. I love the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. <laughs> they are getting eight and a half against Virginia. I just think this is way too many points. I'm going to sprinkle a little on the money line as well because I think they can win this one straight up. This, is, this to me, is like the opponent that Virginia did not want to see. Oregon, Why? Because Oregon loves to play a scrappy, low-scoring game as well. Most teams don't like that. Virginia prides itself on on playing that way now they're running up against a team that not only likes to play that way but is also the hottest bet in the nation True. they won 10 straight they've also covered 10 straight they held those 10 opponents to an average of 54 points against and 35 percent shooting so they're just playing so well they're covering numbers they're uh they're they're doing a lot of things well and this is this kind of style do you know what else is easy to forget we mentioned florida state gonzaga but the Ducks went to the Final Four just two years ago. Crazy, right? I know. It's hard to, it's hard to, uh, to think about that right now, the way the Pac-12 has gone. But there's only one player there. Peyton Pritchard is the one player left over from that, but he's playing incredibly well, averaging 19 points per game over his last five. He's their assist leader. So they have some leadership from that team here. They're not going to be scared. Same styles. This is going to be a really tight game.